Good morning! Welcome back. We are somewhere in Tar Harbour. Not quite sure where I left. Is this uh oh it's the National Park Visitor Centre, that's why. <coughs> Okie dokie. I've just gotta get my bearings for a minute. Can I have a Sorry? Yeah? Make it quick, will ya? <coughs> Was hoping to talk for a minute. Oh. Uh yeah. What do you want to talk about? Look. I know I ain't the easiest man in Far Harbor to get along with. Social graces? Well, that's never been my strong suit. Thing is, most folk in Far Harbor ain't worth a damn anyway. All of them cowering behind their wall, too scared to fight for their home. Can't like someone I can't even respect. And, uh, well, that brings me to you. If you're trying to say that you respect me, then I'm glad you feel that way. I ain't going soft on you now. <laughs> Don't be thinking that. All I'm saying is it's good to meet someone who can take care of themselves for a change. Hell, I ain't been close to a lot of folks in my life. And there's even fewer I'd call a friend, but who knows. We stick together long enough, Captain. Hey. It just be <laughs> that you're my next one. Oh, old Longfellow likes her. Good morning, Arcane. That sounds good to me. All right, enough of this blubbering. You <laughs> read and I'll follow. Seems to be working out so far. All right, nice. Well, uh, what should we do? This is a bit bare down here. I know we've got quests to do. Let's see what is on the menu today. <laughs> Hello, Orin54. How you doing? We're just in Far Harbour with Skylar. And um, I think we'll do data recovery. Yeah, it's on the top of the list. Let's go for that one. Um, she needs to eat and drink as well because this is survival mode. Let my brain recalibrate a minute. I've I've just been doing some of my school dailies on Fallout 76. So, like, my brain and fingers are all wired for those controls and it takes me a little while to swap back over. Um, oh, you changed your name. Who were you before? I noticed it said you weren't new to the chat. Um, food. It's all under aid. Everything. That's the other thing. In 76 you've got separate tabs for food and drink. And for aid, so for all the chems and stuff. Ah, oh, that makes sense! It's you or a high! <laughs> what would you like me to call you then? Hey! Crock of Gold Raid! Awesome! The raiders are here. Let me see if I can uh, do, 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 get that. I am just trying to. Uh, uh, raid. Hello, raiders! Hello! Awesome! Okay, uh, she needs to eat and drink. Uh, what have I got that I don't want to waste. Hey Croc, how you doing? You've managed to get through the heat. I don't know how hot it got where you are. I think I just turned into a pile of plasma goo that day and that, that was it. And then I reformed the next day when we got that was so much cooler after that. Uh, what do I want to eat and drink? <clears throat> Twitch raiding goes so well with the Fallout theme. <clears throat> well, that little that little raid icon I designed myself because it's raiders. That little emote, that's my emote, that one. But yes, raiding. Raiders. Yes. Warm but not as hot as the UK was. Lucky. <laughs> Very lucky. 
gets to about 22 degrees and my body just says mm, mm, that's, that's like on the edge of being too hot for functioning so I basically stayed in a very cool room with a cooling towel on me and plenty of water because um, I don't do well in the heat my brain just goes bleh <laughs> right Skyler you could drink something from a sink if there was even a sink down here but there isn't okay we have a little bit of building to do before we go on to our quest it won't be a very long stream today folks because like I say I'm trying to get around the Fallout 76 school boards and I've got limited hours in my day to do that um, no slop furniture I know I'm gonna have to change that I think that's gonna be the first thing I put in Right, right, folks, can I have your input? Is the kitchen going on the left? Or the right? Yeah, I'm okay now, thank you, Croc. I'm fine. <laughs> Looking forward to a holiday, actually. Next week. Yay! Left says Arcane. I'll stick it in this corner here. Under the window, like like this. And Aura says left as well. Uh, do, 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 do. We want a cooker. Crafting. A nice cooking stove. Now, if I'm if I'm cunning, I can get that those pipes to go out the wall. I usually like to do that just to get them but like you don't want all the the smoke and everything inside the house do you so if we can push it through the wall with a little rug trick it usually looks nicer I think I'm gonna go for rubber the music always makes you think of aliens <laughs> it does actually <laughs> I know exactly what you mean Far Harbour has the spookiest music, it's great. Oh, no. Why did you go up? Is that interfering with the sink? No, it isn't. Okay. Strange. Oh, there's like, there's a little bit of wood poking through. I think I'm going to have to let one pipe show. Let's see. Let's try that. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay, and that, I think most of the smoke will go outside now. Can I use it? This is the other important thing. Whenever you place um, crafting stations... Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Poor old guy. Um, yeah. Oh, the other thing I'm really missing from 76 is that you can toggle on... Um, all the food that you're able to cook with what you've got so you don't have to go through lists of can't make that, can't make this I wasn't going to cook soft shell meat because I like to make cat cages with it oh we don't have a lot and I want to keep my dirty water for making soups out of because eh? Hang on a minute. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least soup is in a separate one. Um, oh, I need purified. Oh, I need dirty water for some, purified for others. It's usually dirty water. Alright, so I can't really make anything, but it's good to know that that's functional. Um, so I think we should have a kitchen table of some sort. Oh, mm -mm. Because you, oh gosh, you need somewhere to prepare your food, obviously. Uh, that's actually a kitchen table, and that's actually quite a good idea to make the most use of this space. Is just put chairs the other side of it so you can eat at it like a bar. Um.
Those chairs seem the most far harbourish to me. Let's pull that one out a little bit. Okay. Um and maybe there's a this like a, a bureau here for storing bits and stuff. And Ooh, I want one of those little half tables. There we go. Um, and let's put let's put some comfy furniture around that side. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave the fire barrel in the centre for the moment. Oh, why don't we start with a rug, actually? I don't have a lot of choice when it comes to rugs. I've got this one, which is sort of... can't even tell. In some, some cases it looks kind of blue, in other cases it looks sort of greyish. We've got that one I use quite a lot. We've got the one with the rockets on, which... It's very kid's bedroomy. So there's only three, three decent carpets really. I think I'll use that one. Uh, stick that right in the centre. And oh, hey, I'm just wondering if I can make any, because they would, wouldn't they? They'd have mounted heads. I can make a death claw head. Ah! <laughs> yes, yes. Put it right up here. <gasps> How's that? That little tower's not doing anything else. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I was actually looking for a, a painting or two. Oh, it's got to be boats and lighthouses all over here. Um. That's a warning, yeah, <laughs> it is. You don't want to mess with folk of Far Harbour. They'll grumble you to death. <laughs> That's nice, I like that one. Get that lined up. Ah! Moved it by mistake. You don't think any death claws are going to attack anymore? Well, I wish. <laughs> I wish. Um Hello, just pod. You can outgrumble Far Harbor. Welcome to the chat. Just one board. Blimey. Well, you must be a high-level grumbler then cuz they're, they're pretty proficient. Yes, these these manky sofas. I mean, how yuck. How, like, you can almost smell the mildew. Ugh. It's a pretty damp place, this. It's a pretty damp place. <laughs> you were crumbling before they were walking. <laughs> Love it. Um, God, even when they try and say something nice, they grumble about it. Longfellow just, uh, old Longfellow just gave me an affinity talk. Uh, it's like, yeah, well, I like you, but yeah, don't tell anyone right now. I think I need a little low table in the middle. Oh, actually, a little, a little high table under the window there would be a good idea as well. So you put your random stuff on. And what have we got for? Oh, there's a high one there as well. Well, maybe I should. Meh, it doesn't go down here. No, I want a low, a low, low, low table. Oh, this is quite cool though. Um, is that going to get in the way if I put it there? Might not. Can I still get up the stairs all right? I can. Yes, that's fine. Um, have I gone past the only low table that there was? 
And now I'm onto the clean stuff. Well, yeah, that's that's far too posh for this place. I don't know, that, that, that's a clean coffee table. Would that look a bit weird now to place? I'll make it and see. It is very clean. Yes, it does look out of place. <laughs> no, give me the... Give me the grubby one. Give me the grubby version. Where is it? Oh, actually that one's quite good. With a double double level for you to put your magazines on. I quite I like that one instead. There we go. Yes. It is good. We <laughs> just splash some mildew on the new one. <laughs> Gross. Alright, since this is survival mode, I have to sleep if I want to save the game, so um and I know how much this lovely game crashes. <laughs> Uh, don't sleep for very long, Scarly. You've got work to do. Just have a quick hour kip. Here's my gal. Director of the Institute. Not exactly through choice. She, unlike the, the actual game options of you're either Sean's mother or father, um, this is actually Sean's younger sister. I've, there's a whole fanfic called Blue Sky Beneath over on my archive of our own if you are interested. And I think I'm putting the link in right here. Yay, there we go. Um, yeah, so I've, I've decided to write her story but go off canon. So the gameplay doesn't exactly match what I've written because he can't. There are inconsistencies inconcilable inconsistencies so um, she's first and foremost a Minuteman so she's uh, she's made Preston Garvey the general as he should be really so he's got the general's outfit on at the moment back in the Commonwealth she's currently the rank of major um, but she's working her way up to colonel very quickly in fact she's the promotions waiting for her back home um, but no, at the moment she's Major Woods and yeah, she's she's trying to turn the Institute round really and make it work for the people instead of being the scary boogeyman that it is um, Right Scarlet, you have a job to do yeah, you're looking around going, Where's that? what's going on? we're going to do data recovery we need to go and pick some things up from somewhere we've never been before, which means we can't fast... No, of course we can't fast travel anyway, because this is survival mode. Yeah, we just have to go south. Preston doesn't have the charisma to lead. No, the Minutemen are not going to fall apart into infighting, because he has a strong team backing him up. If it was just him, depending on his own charisma, yeah, it wouldn't work. But he's got, he's got Major Woods, and he's got other Minutemen around that uh, that help out and um, I I think X well okay it's not possible to have the Brotherhood in this but I think X Paladin Dance may become a Minuteman and he'd be a very good one <laughs> anyway right so I need to go south so I've got a I've got a dot on me map to follow, that's all we need to do. Um, yeah, what weapons have I got? That's a good point. I'm running about four different characters at the moment. Three Fallout 4 and one Fallout 76 and I forget who does what. Um, oh yes, Deliver is her favourite favourite. We have a what now? When did I pick that up? Well, she can carry it, so I will. Um, for the moment. Oh yeah, we've got Reba, we've got a shotgun. We've got the 44, which is pretty powerful, actually. Slowish, but... In fact... Yeah, this used to be Kellogg's gun. Proud Minuteman using a sneaky little pistol. 
This one isn't so sneaky. This one is blam blam. And of course I've got the last minute. But I don't have any ammunition for it. Ooh, that could be a problem. You know I might... I don't know if I can buy any in the shop in... Um, Far Harbour itself. I don't have a massive amount of caps. I'm just going to go and use what I've got at the moment. If I get some more 2 mils, that's great. But yeah, this is the pistol that used to be Kellogg's. So we're going to head out. Close the door behind me. It does kind of take ages to get everywhere. Now I'm fighting the instinct to try and press X on every log I see because of playing 76. <laughs> Someone walks through the front door, they're getting a shin full of barbed wire. Yes, they are. Old Uncle Ken doesn't like the place to be very welcoming. He's the grumpiest grumbler I've met so far. See? Trees like this. 76, you go up to it, you can press X and you get wood. It's great, but no, not in this one. I wonder if they'll have that function in Fallout 5, actually. I wouldn't be surprised if we see some game mechanics taken from 76. Um, I hope so, actually. There are some like what you might call quality of life uh, things like looting nearby corpses and that. <laughs> Little Kenny turned into a half decent grumbler, didn't know he had it in him. <laughs> wow! Just one board, you must be you must be one of the oldest grumblers in Far Harbour then. Respect to you, Elder. <laughs> right. Yes, use vats. I'm not very good at hip firing. Um just me for oh Longfellow. Do you need a rest, old fella? It's like let's keep going. Just that dang fog got into my lungs again. Um Ooh, that'd be a long drop if we go that way. Let's just fall more gracefully down the mountain instead, shall we? Yes. This is better. There we go. Yeah, I, I often say I've got a body that's glitchier than a Bethesda game. So that is a big help, actually. It's it's like a disability aid for me. I use various others, but VATS is one of my favourite in gaming. <clears throat> Personally, I hate 76. You feel like they took a huge step backwards in a lot of ways. You hope the next Fallout builds off 4's mechanics. Yeah, there are some things about 76 that I'm not so keen on. Um, I massively prefer Fallout 4. Some of the things in 76, when you're looking at it from a role player's perspective, and I am first and foremost a role player when it comes to these things, um, they don't make sense. They just do not make sense. You can't have an open world filled with lots of 76ers who are the sole hero. It doesn't work. Um, But there are a few things which I find helpful. Um, but yeah, I really hope that they take Fallout 5 and <laughs> work on the building mechanic from Fallout 4 because that's one of the things I love best. 
<clears throat> they make sense if you look at it from a company's financial standpoint. Yes. Unfortunately so. Um... I hate that. Sniffing trappers. Oh, it's this bridge. Can I? I can reach you from there, can't I? Whee! Off the bridge you go. Yeah, this is this is a bad boy. This <laughs> this pistol. Um, there's more of them. Oh, these trappers give me the willies. You're not right in the head. <clears throat> you were surprised with how much you enjoyed settlement building. Oh, yeah, you can spend many happy hours making things just how you like. Well, fairly just how you like them. I'm actually going to give a little shout out here if you love settlement building now I don't use any mods this is totally mod free because what happened unfortunately um, we tried some creation club content and some of it was buggy hang on I'm getting caution let me just hide um, yeah some of it was buggy there's there's known creation club content which causes problems and they haven't figured out exactly what's doing it, but there is something called the zero kilobyte bug, which basically wipes your saves. I just watched my save files fall down like a pack of deck of cards. You know, I I try and load one, it didn't load. I tried an older one, it it worked for a bit, and then it didn't work. I went back, I went back, I went back, and I just lost things. So I don't use any mods anymore, um, which is annoying because yes, I did pay for the Creation Club content, and I did get to use it for a while. Uh, but I'm not risking it anymore. Anyway, School Zone on YouTube. That guy is amazing. He has been doing videos for years now. Um, vanilla mode, no mods, um, but using tips and tricks and basically exploits, but they don't break the game. The skins, yes, the skins. N uh, yeah, not just the weapons, but I heard the costume skins as well yeah and it's not acceptable in my point in my opinion it's just uh, poor quality control so I love the game I love the world I love the design I love the stories even I know some people complain about the stories but I actually <clears throat> the amount of uh, background colour let's call it from terminals and notes and just little comments that the NPCs say the amount of work that's gone into that is amazing I love the mid-century aesthetic of the whole thing I haven't played the earlier Fallout games I've only played 4 and 76 and well Fallout Shelter on my phone that little app game <laughs> it's very silly um, you've got almost every creation club content on your current playthrough 40 plus hours no my fingers are crossed for you my friend my fingers are crossed um, yeah what platform are you playing on this is PlayStation 4 yeah 3 in New Vegas would be dated yeah I mean I, I don't like the way that they've rendered the faces creeps me out a bit so I'm not gonna go there I hear the stories are good and I know there's lots of people absolutely love them but I don't feel like going backwards four and up five nice there's no ps5 version no no I didn't think there would be One game I play that I thought was only coming out for PS5 is Horizon. Uh, well, I played Horizon Zero Dawn, loved it, and uh, <clears throat> my other half surprised me with 
Horizon Forbidden West for the PlayStation 4. So I've been going through that. I'm giving it a little break while I'm trying to get through the 76 scoreboard. But come September, it's very likely I'll be streaming that one again. Oh dear. Well, one hit. Oh, come on. All right. Ah! So I'm too slow. I'm like, why isn't it? <laughs> Trying to aim up that perfect shot and then they move. We're not there yet. Oh, we're close, actually. We are close to where we need to be. <laughs> That's it. You goad him, Longfellow. Oh, there's a turret there. Let's uh, Southwest Harbour. Yay! This yes, I see. I see where we are. Yeah, we need to clear this place out anyway. Let's try the motors. Nice. <laughs> the fog will get you. Just, you don't reckon the old games are worth playing if you don't have nostalgia? Yeah, fair enough. Not a of exercise, huh? <laughs> he's, he just takes it as exercise. <laughs> it's just his constitutional. Uh, yes, I've got to make sure. Do you know? <laughs> yeah, look, if you want to yeah. get anything from there, See help if you yourself. Because I'm terrible for getting over encumbered. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, we want to go down here, but what? Oh, okay, where are you shooting me from? There you are. I see you. No, you don't. <laughs> uh, excuse me, I think that was my shot that got him. McCready does the same thing. You'll be the one to deal the final blow, and he takes the credit. Cheek of it. <laughs> ah, you can you can hit exclamation mark lurk if you'd like to lurk. That's absolutely fine. Do I abuse the glitches? Um, I don't like to say I abuse them too much. I will, like, I, yeah. Hey. You know, the transferring from inventory to inventory, you can only do so much, but if you point somebody to grab anything useful, put a companion right. to grab stuff like, good grief, old long fellow, you just took the lot. Um, yeah, you, you could weigh them down ridiculously, but I don't like to. Because it kind of breaks the immersion as well. Again, role playing point of view. Right, yes, we have to go. Ah! Where the crap are you? Remember, it's not okay. I'm just remembering my. Stim pack is down. Stim pack is down. Oh, level up. Yay! Come on, Skylar, you can do this. Ooh, it's very foggy. <clears throat> I've been playing this since 2016, so I probably have noticed it. What is it that bugs you? No, you don't. Can't store caps. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's carrying a massive bag of caps on me right now. Yeah, I like to think I I sort them into tens and I sort of nest them one inside the other and wrap a bit of tape around the outside. I've actually done that in real life. <laughs> Sweet. Yes, we do have an actual cap stash. Um, my sprog started 
well, no, actually, my other half, and then my sprog started collecting them. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, they'd get heavy. <laughs> That's where all my duct tape goes, it's wrapping rolls of caps up. I heard you, freaky, freaky sniffing trapper guy. Uh, I'm gonna take some. The thing I like about this versus 76 is that when you go into your pit boy, it pauses. I get to, I get to relax a bit, <laughs> not worry about being shot at. Um. So yeah, this is much more of my my relaxing game generally. It it can be quite. Uh, intense sometimes. Croc, you're gonna have a rest? Thank you very much for the raid. Yes, you have a good day too. See you later. Oh, I'll be back in September by the way. I'm having a break over the summer. Um, What do I need to eat? Oh! <laughs> yeah, well, I haven't got any scheduled content for August. I mean, we're going away on holiday next week. Um... I, I'm one of them. I'm a parent. I'm a parent who has a sprog who is home for the summer holidays and I, you know, I need to do the parenting thing. So I usually stream when I've got the PlayStation all to myself. Sprog's at school, other half's at work. This is this is my, my slot in the day. Um, uh, so yeah, but I will be, if possible, I will be doing some unscheduled streams during the summer. Um, I don't know what and I don't know when. How long is that unused level? Not very long. You're right. I know that's. I'll I'll do something with that. You can help me choose what to what to get. I like to choose perks that are relevant to what I've recently been doing. It makes sense. You've just had experience with something. Or maybe you have a need for something. Like you find you can't hack a terminal. You go and, let's say, find an old book about hacking terminals. That's how you get your perk. Obviously. Um, but right now I need to eat some food, get my health up. I need to take away some... Rads. Rad away. Ooh, yeah. No, let's use refreshing beverage because this stuff is great in survival mode. It cures all addictions, but it doesn't give you issues like thirst and worse immunity. Because, yeah, rad right away adds fatigue and suppresses immunity. Not great, but if you can make yourself refreshing beverage, it'll take those rads away and hydrate you. And you're good. Alright. Yeah, let's look at that. AP, you reckon. Ran out of that smith fight. Well, more agility, you reckon. I've got full gunslinger. It's not automatic. Um, I've got all of the action girl already, so yeah, I suppose higher AP would be a good thing. AP, reco yeah, AP recovery. Well, like, like I say, I've got full action girl. Um, reload guns faster. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for another point in agility, actually. Yep. Thank you. Okay. It's trappers keeping me on my toes. That's what it is. Right, yeah. I need to go down there to the boat. That's what I really need. But I don't want these trappers to stick around. Thank you very much. I can hear you walking around inside there. Huh? Good grief. <laughs> yeah, you don't say. Oh, get your leg. Dang it. Yes. There's going to be one in the building there somewhere as well. Yeah, you're bonkers, you know that? No, no you don't. No, you don't. You do not. So 
Sorry about the splat. Yeah, one thing I don't like to use is that bloody mess perk. Although, because I don't normally use it, my raider guy, uh, gal will probably get that at some point. Ugh. Come on. Come on. Bye bye, Fred. All right. Well, that was grim. Oh, good grief. What is it? Assassin pack stuff. To... No, I don't want that. Uh. Yeah. Gooifying enemies without without energy weapons is fun. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, well, like I say, I mean, my Minuteman slash Institute character Skylar here and my my original and favourite, don't tell Skylar, Vincent, who is Minuteman Brotherhood of Steel, or rather Minuteman of Steel. <clears throat> um, he's fixed the Brotherhood. <laughs> They're not horrible anymore. Um, yeah, those two, those two will not use these perks but my overboss Lorelei who has just become Wasteland Warlord and opened up the ability to get uh, trunks if you haven't played Nuka World I would try it <laughs> the bloody mess role plays really well with an explosive build good point uh, yeah Lorelei will try this ah, that's point, sorry <laughs> Oh, trap a jump scare. I was wondering where you were. Sorry about the scream. <laughs> <laughs> you. Ah. Did you want anything off there? Oi. Heads up. What? Check it out. As good as done. It's like, shing! I'll have the sword, thank you! Okay, he likes the sword. Nice. <laughs> right, we're here to do a job. Let's do the job. Whoop. There's the boot. You found Nuka World disappointing. The main areas seem like the only fleshed out part. Right. Did you play Nuka World? As in, go there and wipe all the raiders out? Or did you actually become overboss properly? Because there's actually, there's actually quite a lot to do if you don't just take the option of wiping the raiders out and do what it was designed to do, but actually play being a raider. <clears throat> you did it for the trophies. Did you get Wasteland Warlord? Did you like? That's what I'm saying. Did you did you go and make out, build outposts in the Commonwealth? Right, so there should be one, no, one storage drive, two storage drives, there should be one in here, oh it's there, no, there should be one in this blue shipping container right here, uh, where is it, it should be in the, I can't even get inside there, oh there it is, got it, I just wasn't looking at it right. Um, then we have this mysterious trunk. Can't pick this. <laughs> One speech check and your settlers were replaced with raiders all with no actual change. Huh? What do you mean no actual change? Now you've confused me because the settlers that you have put there, they they go. And your chosen uh your chosen gangs move in. And then the vassal farms, you can't build that anymore, so it's quite different. Anyway, I'm enjoying it, and I've I've become overboss with Lorelei before even exploring Concord. She has not come across the Minutemen deliberately. I'm playing the game backwards. So, overboss first, and then she might remember that there's something about a baby going on. She's even joined the railroad already without having met Nick Valentine. So, um, yes, all backwards, and it's it's quite fun to play it in a weird order. 
Okay, I'm just like, hit the fast travel. No, there's no fast travel. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go back to Acadia. <clears throat> so, oh, uh, you know what, Skyler, you could do with eating and drinking something. Because you're a little on the uh, hungry and thirsty side. I could take a stim pack. I have a new Coca Cola. Um, oh, my alert queen steak, that will help. Feeling quite full. Why does the bar look full when you're in your pit boy and then when you come out of it, see there's that little sliver left there? But that looks full. Why? I do not know. Um, fog crawler. Let's try that. Oh, it's full. Okay. So I'm <clears throat> so trying not to pick up too much junk. <laughs> Although toolbox, yes, toolbox. Your settlers now have raider skins. Well, they weren't the same. There's a the loot box for supplies every once in a while. Yeah. Yeah, but they're not settlers anymore. I've I've watched my actual settlers walk away, and the new lot walk in. Um. And you get the repeatable quest to go on. And... But I don't know yet how that is going to affect the main storyline. That's the one thing I really wanted to find out. Um, so we'll be continuing with that in September. And I'll probably keep it. I usually stream Lorelite on a Tuesday. Tyranny Tuesday. Um... Wolf. You know, nah, that's a glowing one. Sorry, is it not not good to leave? <clears throat> Bigger goals. Well, I think it's just taking over all the settlements as a raider. Um. But yeah, they could have maybe made it interact with the major characters a bit more. Hey, thank you, Aura. Thank you very much. <clears throat> ah! Oh, you're right. <laughs> okay. A plasma pistol? You wish Prime had an auto resub? Yes, me too. Thank you very much, though. Much appreciated. Um, I will take it. Take over Diamond City. Preston takes it personally and actually, actually rebuilds them. <laughs> yes. They, yes, they could have done more. They could have done a lot more. Um... That's probably why there's so much Fallout fan fiction out there because people have gone, ah, oh, they missed a trick. They they didn't catch on to this idea, or they they shortchanged us with such and such. And then people write it like I do because you find holes. <laughs> I mean, there is an awful lot to Fallout. It's a massive game, but I there, there's so much more they could have done. So, yeah, I'm. I know it's going to be a while before we get number five. Um, it's also going to be a while before 
and I wouldn't be surprised if they come out fairly close together. Well, I don't know actually. I think we're going to get the Amazon Prime Fallout TV series first, which I'm nervous about, but hopefully curious and looking forward to a little bit. <laughs> From what I've seen so far, they just better make sure it feels right. As long as it feels like Fallout and it's got a decent story, I'll be happy. They can't ruin it for me. I love this game too much. Well... Let's see what they get right. Yeah, like I said, I'm cautious about it, but... Many a series has been ruined by live action. Yeah. Well, I'm an <laughs> I'm a bit of an optimist. <laughs> ah, oi! Yeah. Just let my AP build up a bit. Have I seen some of the fan-made series? A little, yes, yes. Quite amusing. Okay, well... Yeah, my, my other character would be just hoovering stuff up right now. It's like, yes, I need shotgun shells actually. Do I leave shotgun shells on him? Because I do actually need them. Yes, I do. Ah, uh, combat rifle. No. Oh, right, there's two... There's a mess here. There's a right mess. Oh, frag grenade. Um hey old fella. What's you wanna grab anything useful? Yep. I was eating me, nothing but those wolves tried to. Take anything good. Bye. She just takes everything. <laughs> it feels like it. Did you grab that? I can do that. Okay. Nuka break, yes! I, I haven't watched much of it, to be honest. Yeah, I need to go and revisit that at some point. Thank you for reminding me about it. <clears throat> okay, let's let's check my map actually while I'm here. Right, so we're not too far away, we just need to get up the mountain. That's the that's the trick. Um It's getting dark again. Yeah, that light doesn't do much, does it? I don't think it's worth it. We need to be up there. <laughs> oh, is that a way? Is that a keep hitting the jump button and you'll make it way? Or is that just a no way too steep? Uh, kind of looks like... Ooh. Way too steep. Okay. <clears throat> ah! Oh! Looks like a path even. Yes, this is better. Okay. I like the colour of the pit boy. I don't tend to change it. Um, yeah, my other half has it a kind of orangey yellow, which, yes, it is a bit more bright. Um, but no, I like the green. Just. 
just the actual glow of the light. I could. <laughs> oh, Merkwater, sorry I wasn't there. <clears throat> Yeah, no, I, I'm deliberately keeping it green at the moment. Uh, my 76er has a more yellowy kind of colour. <clears throat> um, I might try it with my Raider. Right, Faraday. Yes? I've got those storage drives you asked for. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Uh, just the two? I picked up three! I somehow thought there were three. I seriously picked up three! Did I not? There was one in the blue container. There was one on the deck. Ah, uh, nah. I did notice a locked okay. chest that I couldn't open. Maybe the last one was in there. Do you have the key? Key? Hmm. Chest? I'm afraid I don't know. I, uh... You know what? This is fine. Just oh, okay. these two is fine. Well, I tried really hard part, to get three. <laughs> so I'll do mine. Thank you for recovering these. Maybe we dropped one along the way. <laughs> I swear I got all three. Oh well. It is done now. Um, <clears throat> right, so what's next? Let's have a look. No, no, no. Data, thank you. Um, right, we've got some Far Harbour stuff to do. Oh, I've completed that one. Fine. Not yet. No. Uh... That one I can't do because Tinker Tom is dead and it won't leave my inventory, my quest list. Uh, she's not done Nuka World yet. It's going to be a wipe the raiders out version um, with Skylar, no doubt. But oh, I suppose we go back to Far Harbour then. What's not minute manly? Kill Tinker Tom. There really wasn't sure. Actually, you know, the problem was that they were not helping humans as well as they were helping synths. Skylar's like, why don't you just help both of them? Nah. Desdemona had an agenda. <laughs> the game didn't let me. <laughs> <clears throat> I know there's a peaceful ending. Um, which I have done, but not in this gameplay, so... Nobody was helping since we were already helping people. Since our people! Dang it! <laughs> <clears throat> Yes, it puts you in these quandaries, doesn't it? Um, right, check the map again, because I need to know where I'm going. Parched from lack of water, okay. Yes! <clears throat> we need to head up there, okay. So I can just uh, go follow the road. Follow the road. Yeah, left and wiggle down the hill. Do I have water on my... Oh, I do. Good. Properly hydrated, thank you. <clears throat> How much credence do I give to the survivor being a synth theory? None. It doesn't make any sense to me. You are told you are the genetic backup. It doesn't make any sense why they would have created a synth version. 
that would just cause more problems, surely. These windy roads, my sense of direction, which is not great anyway, uh, it just gets messed up. <laughs> it was just a motivating memory to see how far you could make it. Mm. I mean, it could, it could technically have just been. An experiment. I'm tired from lack of sleep. All right, I'll sleep when I get there. Um, yeah, they seem to like doing science for science's sake. But it it never sat right with me personally. I need sleep so I'll run. <laughs> hey, there we go. <clears throat> Todd Howard said it was true that, that the soul survive resisted, really? Eh. I'm still not sure I believe that. Good, there's no trappers back here. Well, that's nice. That didn't take us very long to get back to this neck of the woods. Put your gun down. Ignore Pearl for the minute. Don't freeze on me. Don't freeze. I need to sleep. So I'm going to go straight to the last plank and rent myself a room. I know I could just swim over to old Longfellows, but I'm role-playing this a bit, so she's not going to go any further. Doesn't, she doesn't mind swimming, just doesn't fancy getting wet right now. She's a bit tired. And also, <clears throat> there we go. They never added it to the game, that's why no one found it. <laughs> <clears throat> Therefore, in the game, it isn't true. Yeah, well. How can the last plank set you up? I'd like to rent a room. It's up the stairs. <laughs> his voice does not match his face. <laughs> um. Wow, ah, people don't use very light. No, <laughs> I'm going to sleep. Thank you. Good night. Right. You can have a decent seven hours. That's that's old Ken's nephew. <laughs> His parents were grumblers. I <laughs> oh, okay. Hungry and thirsty again. Um What shall I have? Anything I've got, really. Uh, I'm hungry, so that doesn't give me any bonuses because I'm not fully fed yet, so... Uh, don't waste the grilled radstag just in case I need to carry stuff suddenly. Um, Angler I could use. Alright. So now everything's got its benefits back again. Yep. Uh, Avery then. Well, do you mind? Life's too you know, it's short to be so not really great to cross on the stairs. Thank you. 
Um, something to do. Yeah, hello, Ken. All right. <laughs> <laughs> in my day, everybody did the captain's dance. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I'm glad to see you got to the last plank safely. Because I used Skylar's powers of persuasion. Um. Hmm. Well, uh, which which thing do I do first? Is the question. I suppose I should finish helping the mariner get the optional ones out of the way, and then talk to Avery. I'm just trying to wrap it all up before I jump into the end of quest thing. Um. Yeah, let's go talk to the Mariner. Mariner! Oh, while I'm here, actually. Alan, you might... Got the, guns if you got the, caps. the question is, have you got the ammo? Show me what you got. Make it fast. Hang on, let's go to the ammo section. I bet he doesn't have two mils, does he? No, you see? Oh, useless. Right, how about Brooks? Maybe Brooks has. Looking yeah? for a bargain? Let's barter. Of course. Well, actually, I'm looking for very specific ammunition, which I bet you haven't got either. Um No, you don't. Yeah, it's difficult to get in Far Harbour. Oh, there is somewhere I might be able to get it. If I've built a shop somewhere, my own shops are supplied by the Commonwealth. So, I'm going to have to go and do that. What I can do, though, is sell you a few things, I'm sure. Um, Switchblade, don't want it. Now... I don't have any plasma. I don't know whether to use that or not. Hmm. I wasn't really doing plasma with Skylar. If I, I think I've already built a shop. <laughs> but yeah, if I built a shop, I won't have the money to buy the ammo. Yes. Um. Ultra jet. I no, I don't need so much ultra jet. Napkins. Well, yes, I'll sell. I don't know why I've got napkins. Um, precious junk that needs to go in my store. Um. Okay, I'm not actually using 45, am I? So I'll get rid of those. Let's leave it at that for now, Brooke. Thank you. I'm going to talk to the Mariner. Where is she from? There you are. Hey, so. I got one last idea. Yeah. Crazier than a box of Bradbrook gives. That hasn't stopped you before. Oh yeah. Plenty of stopping power now. But if the Mariner Queen went for a frontal assault. Mm-hmm. Has a queen ever attacked here? Well, not yet. But I'm telling you, the island's bubbling over with menace. Only a matter of time, I reckon. I'm not sure anything could stop a queen on a rampage. Might be right, that. But I had an idea. Thicker walls can beat the whole mass velocity force issue. But the bigger problem is acid. Only thing I've ever seen survive a queen's acid are other mire lurks. The Meyer on our oh, yeah. island have carapaces that are extra tough. So you gather up a bunch of the carapaces and lug them back here. Then I'll reinforce the town as best as I'm able. 
Where's a good hunting spot for Marlurks? Crabs are crawling all over the island along the coast. But you might want to check around Haddock Cove. Okay. Far Harbor really owes you for all this. Yes and no. It's my dock people are squatting on. <laughs> so I got a personal stake in it. Good luck. Okay. My alert carapaces. Um I will go over to Longfellow. Yeah, lovely in a rad storm as well. Great. I could go round and by the sandbar, but didn't I? Yeah. Did I build stairs up there? I can't even see. Yeah, I did. That's good. Feel so. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. I met small Bertha. Thank you. Excuse me. Just going for a swim. Did he say this is an easy road? <laughs> I doubt he's going to swim. Did I build a shop here? Am I thinking of a different character? This is the other thing that often gets me. Because I have three characters building on the same kind of places. Uh, hello! Well, right. Okay. Sure, I put a shop in. Hi! Uh yes. I'll show you. Sure. Hi. I never met so Seems to be growing well. Sure. Yes. Farms. So we've got Alright, so we've got people. Um the ability to invest in NPC settlements like Diamond City. In the deep fall. So you have the option to donate capsule supplies in the city slowly starts improving. That is a good idea. I like that. <laughs> can we can we please just have can we please just have a what would you like to see in Fallout 5 form from Bethesda that we can all fill in <laughs> and they can go through and uh, make the game we all want to play. Right, did I? So I made them a lovely bunk room um did I make any shops <laughs> you might you might have a point there if I haven't bothered to do that yet because this is just a little hut for Skylar uh, 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 well customize armors more oh yes Yes, and you belong to a faction. Let me put the faction emblem on whatever armor I like to use. Without having to go for mods and stuff. Yes. Um, I think you're right, just one board. I think I might have to build my shop first. <laughs> so, if I go for a weapons... Yeah, see, I had the Minuteman paint job for armors and things, and yeah, that's probably one of the things that messed it up. So, pff, that's kind of a bit tidy. Although that one doesn't really. I suppose it could go in front. No, it doesn't want to go in front. It doesn't even want to go on there. Okay. Oh, well, there it will go. Um, right, we need a person for the shop. I swear there was a gaggle of them out here a minute ago. Where have they all gone? <laughs> Had the black enclave one. Ah. Oh. Where where is everybody? There are supposed to be seven people here. And I swear. You in the toilet? No. Oh 
Oh, I don't have enough beds. Ring their bells, yes. I may have to do that. Um, I didn't want to squeeze more beds in here. Oh, hello. Yay, there you are. You look like a really rough version of McCready, but really rough. <laughs> you can be my weapons guy. Come over here. Glad you like the sofa. Yes, I'll build some more beds in a minute. Um, go and work there. Okay. Come on then. It's gone green. Good. Right, I'll be back. Um, there's... I can't really squeeze any more beds in there. I wanted to give them a spacious place. Maybe I have to build another level for this place. Because, um, I don't know, I just didn't want to squeeze another bed in there, but I suppose I'll, I might have to, actually. For now, I might change things. Uh, if I can build these little cots, actually. Emergency extra beds. I only need a couple. There we go. All right. Children of Adam are dangerous. Don't I know. Trust them. Don't worry. Excuse me. Every day another harbor man leaves the island. Yeah, you're not ready for selling things yet, are you? My kids ain't gonna believe the stories about you. Well. <laughs> um. I'm gonna sleep for a bit, actually. Just for an hour. Got that saved, and maybe he'll start work. <laughs> You're right there. Have you got a job? Or are you jobless? You are jobless. Let me find you something to do. You can probably do some defense, actually. Um. Yes. There we go. Stop sitting around and come and defend the place. Right. Uh, is there a beacon? Or did I just send people over here? I can't call. I think I might just have sent people. I don't see a beacon anywhere. Can I help you? Okay. Um, right. You're here. Good. The fog. Yeah, I know. It's dangerous, okay? I know. <laughs> Hello, banana smoothie, nineteen ninety-nine. <laughs> Welcome to the chat. Uh, banana DNA. Okay. I'm looking for weapons. Actually, looking for ammo. Yes, thirty-nine of them. I'll take them. <laughs> well, it's a start. But <laughs> what? Banana dana. Banana dana? Like, not bandana. No, don't cancel it. Why did I die? Why I just bought it? I didn't mean to. Never mind. <laughs> um, oh, he's getting distracted. Right, we can put all the junk away. Uh, I might put that down for the minute because it's massively heavy and I've only got one call for it so let's leave that alone for now 
I'm going to leave this behind as well because I've got no plasma. I'm not really looking to use that. What level am I? I will show you in a minute. Uh, so I can store corn in there. Um, oh, I probably want to do some cooking actually. Before I go and look for my lurk things. I've got one fusion core. <laughs> yeah, she's not really using power armor all that much. Okay, so I am level 103 with this character. Um I have three Fallout 4 characters. There she is. Skylar Woods, turn around into the light. Oh, Skylar, just show you show your face a bit. There we go. There she is. Um, she's Minuteman Institute. And yeah, all three of my Fallout 4 characters I have played before and then lost all their saves, so I remade them and played them through and they've uh, two of them are past level 100 and my overboss is just level 50-ish I think now. Yeah, I think she's just smashed level 50. Um, so there you go. <laughs> Minstitute. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um... Oh dear, guys, <laughs> I'm a bit tired today. Um, also, this heat has wiped me out a bit, so I'm, I am ready for my summer holiday. Okay, we need to go to the cove. Why have I got two markers? Let me just check my data. Yeah, so I need to pop that one on, take the other off. So, three mile carapaces from... Paddock Cove, which is all the way across the island. Oh, the well, world! No, it's so far! And I can't fast travel because this is survival mode. <laughs> okay. I've got about half an hour left to me to play. I am going to try and get as far as I can. Um, I've just organised my junk, so... Old Longfellow. Have you got a bed in here or can I? I'll just borrow your bed for a second. I'm just going to do an hour sleep to save. <clears throat> data, not data. Your British friends will be chuffed at that. What? I am British. I say. I say data. There are many accents here. I'm not sure where you're from, just one board, but um, if you're posh, you say data. <laughs> yeah, we. I say router. People say router. <laughs> America. America. You're from America. Okay. Um, hello across the pond. One thing I love about streaming is is realizing that. People tune in from all over the world. It's really interesting. I've had uh, people tune in from Australia, so we're the other side of the world from me as well. Um, but I am from, to be vague, the East Midlands. Yeah. Can't remember if I had my bath this week or not. Uh, me neither. <laughs> um, right. So I need to be heading that away. Yeah, actually, what's quite funny was that, although I'm from the East Midlands, we're not massively far away from London. I did live closer to London, as did my brother. So we're both born and raised in the same place. Um, but I didn't take on the more southern accent, and he did at some times. Are you still listening, Arcane? I'm talking about you. Arcane Armoury. <laughs> So I say I say grass, and he he sort of said grass, grass and masking tape. I don't know whether you say that so much anymore, arcane, but yeah. 
That's one thing I find interesting about the way we use English, you know, British versus America. Um, lots of sayings and things are similar, and there's quite a few different ones as well. So when I'm writing my fan fiction, I am writing the descriptive bits. Uh, I, I kind of try to use American spelling for the dialogue. Edgar Ars. <laughs> Hello, Arcane. There's my brother. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I use American spelling for the dialogue. Unless I'm writing like Codsworth or one of the British sounding Mr. Handys. Um, but for the descriptive bits, I'm still using British English spelling and phrasing, I suppose. But we've pretty much grown up with so much American media that it's... It's almost like speaking a second language, almost. I can't claim to speak a second language fully. I know a little bit of a couple, but... Oh, Skylar, are you going to jump up here? Is this too steep? She's like, I want to go that way, but... Oh, dang it, why did they put stairs in here? If only I had a jetpack! If only... Can you climb? Jump? Yeah? No? Ooh, she's doing it. If you persevere, sometimes... Come on, I just want to get to the top of this ridge. Let me. Let me! English is wild to non-native speakers, yes. I have a Romanian friend who actually has ended up learning a mixture of British and English spellings and phrases. Oh, I'm here. Right. This is... Oh, okay. Uh, I want to be that way. If only I could get to the top. There's probably a road that goes up, for goodness sake. Let's follow it round. Twisty, turny roads. No, I'm going to have to go down here again. Oh, no, that's too steep. Ah, Far Harbour, you are so mountainous. This is worse than getting around Appalachia, actually, because, um, yeah. <laughs> right, I'm gonna I'm gonna claim ignorance on both of those. I actually, um, yeah, I know bo booty and butt can mean the same thing. But fanny, now you have you have fanny bags, and for us that means different part of the anatomy, specifically female. <laughs> so yeah. What does it mean? <laughs> Ladies front bottom. Just put it like that. <laughs> <laughs> There's a joke actually, because Fanny is also a name. I, I'm, it might be short for Francis or something. Um, so this joke my my dear granny told me. Um, so there were three sisters who went to a dance. Um, and there was a there was a nice young gentleman who was willing to willing to dance with them. But the first sister, let's call her Violet, she she dances, and the young gentleman is very embarrassed because she has rather large feet, and he keeps stepping on them. So he apologises and bows out, and and uh, offers the next dance to the second sister. And again, again he uh, let's call her. Um, Let's call her, I don't know, Daisy. Um, so again, he dances and uh, terribly embarrassed because he keeps standing on her feet because they're so large. He doesn't want to say anything. He's, he's too much of a gentleman. But uh, eventually it gets so bad throughout the end of the dance, he just he just has to stop and apologise. He's like, I'm terribly sorry, Violet Daisy, but I, I really can't dance with you anymore. You're, it's just your feet, you see, they're, they're so large. And both sisters pipe up, looking at their third sister. If you think our feet are big, you should see our fannies! Bada boom -tish. <laughs> I 
I on I on get it. You don't get it. Their sister was called Fanny. They were also talking about how large her front bottom was. <laughs> I'm not going to say the word. It begins with a V. You know what it is. Um. Yeah, so I was quite surprised my granny told me that dirty joke. Anyway. <laughs> okay, when, when the sisters are saying our Fanny, they're talking about their sister, Fanny. If you think our feet are big, you should see our... Got it? Google it, yeah. <laughs> What's... Oh god, I can't explain it anymore. <laughs> they, were... they were talking about their sister's feet, but they were also talking about their... Yeah. No. No. Wow. Where am I on the map? Oh, good grief. It's a double entendre. They all have big feet. The dude, <laughs> the dude can't dance. Well, he might have been a mediocre dancer. <laughs> but okay, I'm going to try one more time. Our Fanny, they're talking about our sister, but they're also talking about their bits, right? If you think our feet are big, you should see our bits. Never mind. Right, moving on. Um, I've still got quite a way to go. It would be a good idea to sleep somewhere. Oh, crap. It's Twitch Bits. <laughs> Tangent. But yes, Twitch Bits. If you'd like to spend your bits, you are very welcome to. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I know there's a bed at the Nucleus. I think so, Matt. I think so. Um... Oh, no, that's all right. That's okay. Your company is most appreciated and your contributions to the chat. Oh, hydrate. That's a really good plan, Arcane. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. I am hydrated. Right. Um. Wait, so I should be close to... Let me check my map again, because... Whoa, nope. Try going... Try going a bit more... Yeah, right here. Where the big nucleus sign is. Um... So, um yeah, I just want to sleep. I just want to sleep to save, so we're going to go through here. So I don't waste all that travel time. I wish they had a bed outside. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yes, because we're still... um kind of friendly on the surface with the children of Atom because we haven't done what we need to do here yet. Uh, I'm not dressing up in those rags with the flipping sieve on the front. No, thank you. Uh, now, I fixed this cheekily, but I don't think it works twice, does it? Yeah, that is... Uh, it squirts, but it doesn't do the job. It doesn't add any radiation, but it doesn't take any more away either, and it probably should be doing. Uh, yeah, so I just need to find a mattress. Let's go up this way. <clears throat> right. Is there a mattress I can sleep on without getting irradiated? Nope, not that one. How do you think that I can... Yes, that one. Okay. Um, I am going to sleep for the full... Ooh, five hours. 
yeah, it's it's a very silly name. It's a very silly accessory. <laughs> oh dear. <clears throat> okay. What? Do you mind pushing me out of the way? Gah! Rude. Very rude. Right, now now you've made me stuck. You've knelt down and... No, you don't have to worship me. It's fine. Honestly, I know I'm like... No, seriously, mister. Yeah, yeah, I know I found the doll thing. Mother of the fog thingy. But you can let me out now, please. I'm stuck in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, well, you know, there's other nice places on this island. <clears throat> without the radiation so I've, I've got through my save point I don't know how far I'm gonna get guys before the end of the stream but we'll we'll continue a little bit more and <clears throat> when I come back in September I won't be doing the scoreboard of 76 so I will be doing Longer streams, I usually do uh, two and a half to three-ish hours long. I'm sorry today has got to be a short one, but I'm just working with the time I've got. Uh, do, 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 over there. Maybe you've gone up. My infection? Oh, gross! I slept on the mattress and got an infection. That's not good. Ew! Luckily, I've got some antibiotics, but they make me really thirsty. Trainers, yeah, yeah, we say trainers. Um, what do you call them in America? Sneakers. Oh yeah, sneakers. Yeah. Um, because <laughs> you're sneaky. <laughs> you're a sneaky sneak. Still thirsty. Okay. I'll drink lots of my water then. Yeah. That's not good that I've only got two left though. Uh, ah. <clears throat> oh, this place. Longfellow, are you okay? You're still with me? Yep. I don't know where he spent the night. I don't know if he went into the nucleus or not. I didn't actually see him there. Every sports shoe is a tennis shoe, no matter whether it's for tennis or not. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Going bowling? No, surely you, you still wear bowling shoes for bowling. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? The way that our Use of English has diverged. <clears throat> no, <laughs> nobody, nobody here. I found super mutants. <clears throat> I won't let you on the lanes of the slippy clown shoes. No. <laughs> I think they do it just to see people fall over now and again. Yeah, I'm just going to avoid the super mutants. <clears throat> if I can. I swear I cleared that place out not that long ago. But I'm... She's wearing sneakers. <laughs> <clears throat> Open, eh? I doubt it. Okay, I think we might be safe to stand up and walk around again. <clears throat> so, probably another good idea to check where I am on my map in a second. Let's just get past all these logs. They're meant to stop people from falling over. <laughs> they don't seem to work very well. Chocolate bars on each foot, Snickers! <laughs> nice one, okay. <laughs> 
Yeah, the Snickers bars used to be called Marathon in this country. Then they changed it. And we all laughed because Snickers is a funny name. Snicker literally means like to laugh a little bit. So yeah, it did make us laugh. <clears throat> Ooh, a tent. <gasps> I can sleep in the tent. Yes. Every opportunity to save, I take it. Thank you. Right, where am I now? It's probably worth making a note. Oh, right in the middle of the very boggy place. Oh, we're close to where we need to be, though. Can I get there? Yes, I can. I can get there. Well, that's good, because then when I've done the Mylurk thing, I can just go back to that tent if I can find it. Gun for Mylurks. You know, you probably want Reba. Reba should be the thing to use, because it's uh, better against Lurks. Oh, gosh, Gulpers. I don't want to tangle with Gulpers if I don't have to. Actually, you know what? Uh, can I put a marker just about there? It's roughly where the tent was, I think. Just so we don't forget. Oh, lovely. <laughs> it's dark and it's sunk. Ooh, tools. <laughs> ah! Woohoo! They got a little close very quickly. Shoot again. Oh, mysterious stranger! Yay! Thank you. Who are you? Who is that mysterious stranger? Get out. Can we can we see him? Has he gone? He's just gone. Ah. Oh. Right, my luck carapace, yes. One! Wait, yeah, something's stalking us, yes, that's because. Woo! Blood rage ones, they're horrible. Well, do they remind you of anything, Matt? Ah! Garth him! <gasps> no! Run, Skylar! I think we're drinking the toast with its corpse, like, yeah. Nice bit of Mylurk, roasted or... <laughs> Government name. <laughs> Well, since since Arcane runs Arcane Armory and is is on social media as Matt at Arcane Armory, yeah, it's okay. We won't use the surname though. Government name. Yeah, <laughs> Sounds like a good plan. Ah, oh, carapace, carapace, carapace. Can you do the fandango? No, sorry. You know we did used to call him that? Well, I used to call him that a little bit as a kid, sometimes. Um, so we have the carapaces we need. I'm just going to head back to that tent. Sorry? Well, you'll see my, my Twitter name is... I couldn't get the Art of Blossoming, so I thought, oh, never mind, I'll just... Uh... I'll just use a bit of my name, so it's the Art of Sal. In fact... Yeah, we could avoid that gulper altogether. Let's just go back to the tent. I will put my links on in a minute, and you will be able to find lots of different places encounter me across the internet but uh oh toy alien you must be much more heavy than the bear 
I'm going to leave them there because that's cute. Um, yes, Tumblr is really my fandom home, but I'm using Twitter to alert people to Twitch streams and things. Oh, uh, now I need lure weed, but if any of those are because I've got wolf meat to cook, and I need I need to season it with that apparently, because otherwise it's inedible. Um, where's my tent? That way somewhere. It's my little tent. My cozy little resting spot. Is a truck. Oh, is it there? That's my tent! Yay! Right. Sleep to save. Oh, go up. How many hours can you sleep in a tent? This is a good question. Because on a sleeping bag you're restricted to three. In a... On a mattress you're restricted to five. On a bed you can sleep more than five so let's try and give her a proper eight hours sleep in a tent and see if it comes up with you can only sleep so many hours or am i going to get a full night's rest <gasps> when you go camping and it's raining you can sleep 24 hours <laughs> mm -hmm. you don't do social media apart from twitch because this is oh there you go it's counting it as a sleeping bag that's good to know, because I didn't know that before. You can only get three hours in a little tent like that. Yeah, that makes that makes sense, actually. You only get three hours sleep. Of course you'd be in a sleeping bag in a tent. That makes perfect sense. Okay, and on that note, I think... Uh, there she is. We'll leave her right there. Thank you very much for watching. Um, let's see if there's anybody around this time of the morning to stream. Oh, nobody I follow at the moment is currently streaming. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to give a random shout out to a lovely streamer by the name of Miss Vixen. Um, who plays Fallout 4 as well? Oh, actually, I'm going to give two shout-outs because there we go. Um, I have another lovely friend who plays Fallout 4 as well, and is also my moderator, and is obviously not quite awake yet. So, oh no, what? Interrupting. Oh crap, it's a freaking funk roller! <laughs> yeah, that's not doing very much, Skylar. Oh dang it, don't die right at the end of the stream. That's the wrong button. Right, oh for goodness sake, okay. You're getting some drama. Um, yes, yes, this one. Oh crap! Oh crapiola! Timing, I know. Timing. Okay, and you can shout out Kit in the Hat Lady. I was halfway through doing it. Exclamation mark SO2. Space. Kit in the Hat Lady. <laughs> this what? Oh, yeah, yeah, you, that's right. You fight, you help. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa! Okay, they're all on it. Um, but Skylar's now like, I yeah, I actually have to fight these three things now. Well, they finished off for me. No, you don't. Leave the old fellow alone. <laughs> and stop eating typewriters, you crazy frog thing. No, I can't do that. Wah! Seriously, hip fire and it was No 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 Yeah this one <laughs> Really Really Oh good grief Skylar you can't hit anything when I just try and hit fire 
You've you forgot the gap in between the two in the K. Oh, it's all right. We'll get it. We'll get it. Ah. Oh. Are we done now? Are we done? <sighs> Yay! Thank you, Arcane. Well, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Let's get the things and stuff. Thank now you. Now. Okay. Yes, it sure is. And the fog crawler. Oh, Arcane, you'll get it. Don't worry. Uh. There's another gulp of body around here somewhere, but I, oh, there it is an antifreeze bottle. Mmm, tasty. Right, I'm saving again after that because yes. Also, just for an hour, that's fine. Okay, I am definitely signing off now. Um, I will be back with scheduled content in September when the schools start up again, basically. Um, can we see a better like that? Yeah. Um, but look out in the meantime for the occasional random stream. Um, so if you are on Twitter or if you if you follow, you should get a notification. Uh, and I'm just going to pop these links up here. Pop, pop, pop. There we go. Lovely. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you everybody for supporting. Um, it means it means a lot. So have a lovely summer, stay cool out there, take care of yourselves, and bye for now.